Okay, well, everybody, let's continue with our introductory part of our class. With uh, me just introducing you to you, um, the two most common legal systems of the world. Uh, some of you may have already touched on this in business law, but I am not too sure how clearly you see the differences or the distinction between the two. So, uh, just briefly here on the important distinction between these two kinds of legal system. Because when you talk about international business, Sometimes you have to make a claim against another party, maybe for a breach of contract claim in another country. And another country may have a very different uh, legal system with Thailand. So uh, you should at least know the basic difference between their system and the Thailand legal system. All right? At least you should have that basic knowledge in your head first. All right. Um, in the world, there are a few different kinds of legal systems. All right. Uh, I will take the two most common ones, of which Thailand adopts one of them. Okay. One of the legal system is what is known as a common law legal system. Now, the emphasis is on this word common common here means people the law is made based on cases or claims all right made by claims claims from people people making claims to the court all right, the court makes a decision from the case. All right, since I put it as plural, I put it as plural. All right, many claims to the court: claim for breach of contract, claim for doing something wrong against another party. All right, and the court makes a decision on the case. All right, the judges in the court makes a decision on the case. All right now, the decision from these cases they become the common law. The decision from the cases becomes the law. All right, people make claims. For example, a breach of contract claims to the court. The judges in the court considers the case, considers the evidence of the case as well, consider the facts of the case, and the judges makes a decision. This decision from the judges becomes the law. That's why it's called common law, because it's law made from cases, from claims, all right, submitted to the court by you and me. All right. The countries that adopt this kind of legal systems is, for example, the UK. The UK is the original source of this kind of legal system. All right? And, of course, the other countries that used to be the colonies of the, of the UK, United States, Singapore, all right, Malaysia, All right, India, Kenya, all these other places that used to be the colonies of the UK, they all has their origins in this kind of a system, common law. Law made from decisions of cases put forward by people. Now, the other one which Thailand adopt is what is known as a civil law or Roman law system. 
It says our Roman law is actually more accurate because this kind of legal system originates from the Romans in ancient times. All right, this kind of law is not based on any cases. No, 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 no. This kind of law is what is known as coded law. All right, the laws are codes or sections. You call entire matra. Sections. Where do the codes and the sections come from? They are basically written laws in a book, right? In business law sense, in Thailand, is in the commercial code. Pomun Peng Panit, right? Pomun Peng Panit. They are written laws or written codes or sections. Where do these codes and sections come from? They are passed by the parliament. They are passed by the parliament. Okay, so Thailand adopts this civil law system. There is no need to base on cases. For people to bring the case, bring the claim to the court, and the court makes a decision, then the decision becomes the law. So you have to depend on people making the claims to the court. If people don't make the claims to the court, there's no decisions, and therefore there's no common law. But Thailand don't have to depend on that. Thailand just refers Thai lawyers just refers to the matra, the codes, the sections for the law. Now, of course, words in a section, words in a code, words in a matter itself, has a few interpretation, a few kanti kwam or interpretation of it. The interpretation of the codes, just the interpretation of the codes, all right, or you can say the guiding on how to interpret the codes. Right. If you're not clear, you read the code. Let's say you read section three, two, one, and you're not too sure what these words really means. Right. The interpretation of what the words means. You have to look at the court's decisions in Thailand as the guide, as the guide, just a guidance on how to interpret the certain words in the court. But the law is the code itself. The decisions in the in the in the courts in Thailand is just the guidance on how to interpret, how to tikwam the words in the section. So those are the two common legal systems. This one, besides Thailand, the other countries that adopt the civil law or Roman law systems or coded law or section law. Uh, I you have Indonesia, you have Japan, right? Germany, a lot of the, a lot of the, coded law on business. Law in Thailand comes from Germany, Japan as well, all right. Uh, France. All right. Oh, it's out out of the better right here, France, etc. Let me just move this a bit so you can see. Okay, so those are the two differences. Now you will be thinking that Ajahn, since I'm in Thailand, right, and I would have to be following this. What if I want to make a claim in the, for example, in the UK or the US? So which system would it be? All right, which law should I follow? As well, should I follow the UK law or should I follow the Thai law? And then which system would it be? All right, don't forget this is just the introductory part. 
we'll come to this kind of detailed issues later on. For this one, I'm just introducing to you the two common legal systems of the world. Thailand adopts this system. All right, a lot of the international business that you deal with, all right, uh, the other party to your business would probably probably be somebody from this kind of system or this kind of systems. All right, of course there are other less uh, common systems like the Nordic system, the Scandinavian system, the communist system. Okay, these are lesser common, so I don't deal with that. All right, I deal with the common ones because the one these are the ones that you'll be likely to face. That's all for this part.